Play returns. If you are just joining us, what an absolute delight to have you Hi, back. everybody. We're not just talking perfume like we did last time, which was no. amazing and record-breaking, but tonight we're hearing you perform live because Friday, coming up this Friday is your big launch date of your newest album, yeah. Nobody But Me. What a treat. Was it like, it's probably like a baby. It's probably like giving birth. It is, you know, actually, can I, you know what? Can I just open this up sure. and take a look at this? Sure. And see if it, oh, no, it's not, it's not real. Oh, oh it's, it's not okay. real? Is that one real? No, this is not really. Oh, it oh, is real. Oh, it's real. You know what, if <laughs> I could just, just rip this out, you keep doing what you do, Colleen. I'm, okay. I'm gonna rip this out and destroy it. <laughs> Because you know what, this will tell you what it what it means to me. Oh, neat! This is what I actually wrote on the record. Oh. I wrote. I would like to thank my wife, Lucana, my children, my beautiful family for your unconditional love and support and giving me the courage I've needed to make the record I always wanted. And I'll just give you the last line. To the fans, thank you for allowing me the opportunity to share my love of music with you once again. I hope you love it because I made it for you. And I don't know if th that is just that the is truth. That is a beautiful thing. Well, that's what, you know what? I, like I don't want to be so cool to and too cool for and school, fans. and I don't want to try hard. I just wanted to make a great record for the for the beautiful people wow. out there. Wow. Well, I have to tell you, over 14,000 have been spoken for. We have a few wow. more than 1,000 available. That's it in terms of what's ready for immediate delivery. We can get it there by Friday. It is a two-pack. Remember, you get the newest, the latest. This is coming out on Friday. You can order right now. We'll have it delivered to you. You don't have to go find it somewhere. We'll deliver it to you. And then on top of that, you also are getting an additional At Home with Michael Buble. This is an HSN exclusive disc that's also coming home. So you get the CD and, well, you get the album, you get the CD, you get both. Under $15. If you have a major credit card, we're taking the $15 and dividing that by three so you can do five dollars for flex payments and it's all yours it'll be delivered in no time for you so we are excited tonight because not only you you just sound amazing i mean you oh, always you. do but thank i know you. you had vocal surgery yeah. and your voice just sounds incredible thank you thank you very much yeah it was uh it's been a big year, you know. I had, uh, if anybody wonders why I was away, it's because uh, my wife and I got pregnant and uh, I just really wanted to, to, to experience being a dad. And right. um, speaking of that, I mean, we, talk, we talked about this together before, but really, you know, somebody, one of my friends said that um, the record was like a tent in the rain, that it was cozy and that um, with all the things happening in, in the world right now, um, I, I love, listen, people that, that are cynical, if they want to be cynical, let them be cynical. I can't stop them, but um, I love that I can bring joy and I can bring hope and that I get to sing. I mean, listen, I love writing songs, but the truth is I get to sing the greatest songs ever written. I think one of the greatest gifts America ever gave to the arts was the Great American Songbook, really. Oh. And um, it came from a time where, uh, listen, people were, were, you know, fighting for the freedom of, of this great country. And, um, and it brought even more importance to the lyrics of these songs, to the melodies of these songs. And I love, love, love that I get the opportunity to carry the torch and to continue introducing the great, the great yeah. romantic classics. Right, to like my baby just cares for me. Completely, to a new generation of people. Right. I mean, to me, that's um, what an honor it is. Really? That's it. We're going we're gonna to hear that one in a little while. But first of all, we want to welcome Michelle, who's calling in from Nebraska. Hi, Michelle. It's Colleen. You're live with Michael Buble. Hello, Michael. I am so excited to talk to you. First of all, Hi, Michelle. I got your new CD and I got the fragrance. Yay! Thank you, babe. I'm, because I trust you so much, I have to tell you. My mom thinks you're the second coming of Frank Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> They'll never thank, tell your mom thank you. There'll never be another Frank, but thank you. <laughs> well, exactly. But, thank you. Um, probably about six years ago, you performed in Omaha, Nebraska, mm -hmm. and I was able to take her to the show. Oh, oh the, beautiful. The experience was one of the highlights of our time together. She's 88 years old now, still going strong. That's awesome. But she was so, she said, this guy is amazing. The Aww. quality of your voice and your sincerity. And the Thank fact you. that you just said <laughs> that you are bringing hope and joy to people. And it is a bad time in the world right now. Yeah. And I'm just yeah. so thankful that you get to do what you like to do. And you're so good at it, and you bring so much joy to so many people. So. Thank you, Michelle. You know, somebody told me yesterday when I was doing an interview, somebody asked me how I felt about Bob Dylan getting the Nobel Prize. 
And um, my answer was that obviously I was thrilled. I thought that was wonderful. He's an incredible poet and a very deep, highly intellectual man. And, uh, you know, he uh, made people aware of issues and problems. And, you know, when they asked me in the interview, the only way that I could truly answer was to say that I, I was so glad that in my way I got to take people away from those problems, from some of right. those issues, and allow that escape. And, um, and I love that. I lo if that's my legacy, then uh, I'm very proud of that. You do. And, and you take people back to a better time, I think. Yeah. Yes. Just, you know, songs that really get into your heart and that mean something. Not some of the silly songs sometimes that you hear on the radio now. Just the, you just bring people back to happier times. Thank you, Mike. Thank, thank you, Michelle. And, and um, my mom and I just, just love you to death. I love you Aww. guys, too. Thank you so much, Michelle. Give mom a hug for me. Thank you, know, you, Michelle. You know what? Can I, Sweet words. Can I just say something? I, sure. We've talked about how, you know, we're going through tough times, but, um, you know, I, things are going to be better, and they're getting better, and uh, I know that we, we talk with great nostalgia about a better time, but um, I think that there are still incredibly beautiful, kind, empathetic yes. people, and I think that... Um, you know, especially this great country. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we're, we're bound for great, for yes, great things. Yes, absolutely. We still have great hope. And absolutely. we know we're, you know, we will, we'll get, we'll get, it'll get better. Of course. It just will get better. Of course. There's no question about it. Do you want to take another quick call? Yes, call, I The would lines love are so busy. I am so excited. By the way, fewer than 1,000 now left in terms of what's ready for immediate delivery. Just want to give you a heads up on that. I hope we have enough to last through this whole show. I'm serious about this. We are getting very limited. Wow. It's going fast. I would encourage you to order yours if you're thinking about it. We have Bernadine who ordered hers tonight. Bernadine is in Nevada. Bernadine, you are live with Michael Bublé. Hi, Bernadine. Oh, it's so good. Hello. Hi, Mr. Kiro. Michael Bublé. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien, bien, vos? Muy bien, gracias. Oh, I just want to tell you, you are such a class act. I mean, from the way you sing, Thank the you. way you sing, and the way you just... You're making me shy. <laughs> I love D. Martin. You just confirmed it. That's what I yeah, so love cute. about your music. It takes you back, but yet it brings you current, too, for other people to hear it and enjoy lyrics exactly. that are just timeless. Exactly. Thank you so much, Bert. That's why, you know, it's why people ask me why I named the record Nobody But Me, and the truth is I don't know anyone else who's had the opportunity to sit on a chart with somebody like Justin Bieber or Taylor Swift or Katy Perry with the pop songs he's written and at the same time to sing beautiful standards and uh, I look out into my audience Bernadine and um, I'm in love with I'm in love with what I see because I get to see I get to see old and young and black and white and and just this wonderful eclectic mix of people because that's who I make music for the people not just a, a certain generation or a certain age or um, uh, you know right. I just it's for everybody and I love the fact that people come to the shows and you know, or listen to the music, and that it's just so diverse. I really do. I, I totally get that. Thank you, Bernadine. Do well, you do me a you, favor. You're in Nevada. Would you, you put a bet so down for me tonight? The perfume and the body lotion. I am so excited about it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Bernadine, can you want to go play the penny slots for, for Michael and me? Exactly. <laughs> oh, I know. You know what? I, I'm going to do that. You're so, I, you know <laughs> what? I have you no luck at all. You I know? think tonight <laughs> you're going to get lucky. There you go. Uh, thanks, <laughs> thanks so much. Thanks, Bernadine. Thank, Thank you, you, Bernadine. Kid. Bye, bud. Take care. Yeah, she's cute. Oh, huh? she's so sweet. You know, what fun <laughs> this is. And it's interesting. Your fans, you know what? They see it's real. You're, you, they see your passion, your joy. You can sell, when, you're, when we're watching you perform, how much fun you're having. Oh, totally. You can't fake that. And honestly, there's nothing, there is no forum that I've ever seen like this where I can, this is so cool and so instant to be able to be invited into people's homes, you know what I mean, to, to really get to speak to you just like this. And more than that, to get to get, get up and sing and to, to play this stuff for you so that you can actually, that it's tangible for you. I just think that there's, there's no other medium in, really, in the world uh, than HSN to be able to come on and actually do this. And I, I really, really, really uh, cherish the opportunity. All right. Well, we're going to have Michael get set because we're going to hear My Baby Cares For Me coming up All next. Right. And then in the meantime, this would be a good time to get your orders placed. Think ahead to holiday gifts. What a beautiful, beautiful gift. And I was thinking about, because you can always go online and download music, but I love having the, I love having the album in my hand. I'm an old school girl. I mean, I grew up with my vinyl and 
I love having my CD. I love having the personal message from Michael. I love just the personalization of this. And you can wrap this up. You can. These are the greatest stocking stuffers. And that's the beautiful thing about it. For $15, what an incredible gift. You get the two pack, $5 in your credit card. But with no further ado, here he is, Michael Buble. <laughs> My baby don't care for shows My baby don't care for clothes My baby just cares for me My baby don't care for a furs and laces My baby don't care for a high tone place, a brand old just in style. Even Mr. Clooney's smile is something she don't see. My baby don't care who knows it. My baby just cares. For me Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I think we all have goosebumps in the studio tonight. I hope that you are having as much fun as we are. You do have a front row seat. And the best part is you get to listen to this music anytime you want in your car, at home. Just fill your world, fill your, your, your home with these beautiful melodies, these beautiful songs, these gorgeous sounds. Thanks to Michael Buble, who really has not just revived these incredible, beautiful old classics. He is the ultimate modern crooner because along with all of these great old songs, he has, he puts his own modern spin on them and wait till you get the new album because you, there's three new songs, first of all, that Michael penned. He co-wrote three of the songs. We'll talk about that. He also, for the first time, collaborated with people he hadn't worked with before. So it's there's some surprises along the way. It's full of fun. It's obviously full of heart and we will have it delivered to your doorstep for you. You don't even have, you don't do anything. Just click or call us. You're going to get the album. It'll have it 
by Friday, and then you're also going to be getting the bonus CD with five of Michael's greatest hits also on that CD, and you're going to get it home to you. Nobody else has flex pay, which means $5 on your credit card, and we will have this delivered home to you in a few days. I hope you can do it. Think ahead. I mean, this could be the greatest gift, and you know what's funny? This is really for someone ages. My daughter-in-law, who's 30, is a huge Michael Bublé fan. My mom, I know who's watching tonight, Hi, Mom. Um, huge fan. I mean, she's called every single person she knows, and they're all watching. So that's what's pretty fun. My mom's in her 80s. My daughter-in-law's 30. And they all are fans of yours, Michael Bublé. You hear that all the time. Thank you. I mean, teenagers all the way up to great-grandmothers. I mean, uh, isn't listen, that something? It's, it's, uh, I wish it was about me, but I, it's, the music is timeless to me. It really is. And I think that we're not talking about something that only a certain amount of people can relate to you. We're talking about love, you know? Uh, yes. We're talking about romance and hope and sometimes heartbreak. And those are things that everybody can relate to. Those are things that young, old, rich, poor, gay, straight, white, black, it doesn't matter. We all know what those things are and we can all relate to those to those feelings and You're those lyrics right. and those words. And that's and that's why some it's funny, but some of the songs I sing are more than I mean more than a hundred years old and they still they not just survive but thrive right and uh, there's a reason for it I mean um, you know they're a, joy, they're a joy to sing too I mean you look at me I mean I'm, I, I love I love what I get to do I mean, there's great seriously joy in it. you can see it just oozes the joy oozes <laughs> out of your pores when you're doing it it's so much fun to watch by the way thank you for joining us on Twitter we have a lot of people tweeting tonight it's hashtag Buble on HSN we'd love to share those tweets in fact let me read a couple to you here's Connie Connie says uh, Michael Bublé, so excited my, for my new CD, and you look like you're having a ball with every song yeah. on it. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. Emily tells us, how many copies of Michael Bublé's new album is too many? <laughs> Three? She says, because that's how many la I've pre-ordered Michael Bublé, Bublé on HSN. Fantastic, Emily. How cute is that? Seriously, this is the night to stock up on this because you get the two. You get it home for $5 a set. You don't have to worry about tracking it down anywhere else. We'll just deliver it to you. It makes the greatest gift, $15. I mean, you can't even put a price on music like this. That's the coolest thing. You know, that's probably the beautiful thing about music is that it's, it's the great equalizer. Right? Yes. You don't have to have a million dollars. You, you, just everybody gets I, to experience. I was just talking about this. I was Were just you? literally just talking about this with my, well, because he's already, one of my best friends is already stressing out about Christmas uh, presents. Oh, right. And uh, he actually, when we were talking tonight, he called me and said, thanks for putting out the new record. I said, why? He said, well, I just got my aunt, my mother, my sisters done. Perfect. He said, done. I got to buy it. And I thought, <laughs> well, I, you know, I thought, well, you know what? That's, I wish I could do that too. But no, that would not. <laughs> Not be enough. My mother would be like, no, I have my own buble right here. <laughs> but, uh, I, you know, I think it is one of those cool things that I don't want to say it's an easy gift because it's nice to put thought into something, but the truth is it's a really personal thing, and I think people feel like you've this is take, giving you've thought. taken thought. Absolutely. Because Absolutely, yeah. it's personal and it touches your heart, and it's full of beautiful messages and I, memories. There's, you know what, you guys, you've, you've heard quite a few songs tonight that I've done, but there's... What's really, the most exciting part for me is basically giving you a present that you haven't unwrapped until Friday. And um, what you've heard, right. I, I love, right. but there's still so much more. I've written f four songs. One I have is a duet um, with, with uh, Megan Trainer. Right. I don't know if you know who that is, but. Right, uh, and didn't Harry Styles Harry also? Harry Styles and her wrote it from yes. yeah, One Direction. And, and so many other great, great I love standards. love Megan Trainer. She's a little dynamo. Yeah, she is. She's right? a force. I call her a force of nature. Yeah. Yeah. Really. She's good. only 21 years old, right? Thank you for making me feel even older. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> you look I felt like, like a, a baby. I felt like a young whippersnapper one second ago. Now you just now I feel old. <laughs> but no, she's she's un, really unreal. And uh, it's cool though to know that like as I look at this record, there's there's so much more that you guys get to experience, and um, I'm. That's uh, thrilling. It Listen, is I've, thrilling. I've got to talk to, to, to the journalists and the critics, all those mean critics, and uh, I know that it's good, yeah. so I can't wait for you guys That's to get right. it home. That's right, and you know what? Um, no critics here. You've got all fans, fans <laughs> yeah. pouring in. In fact, Anne in Florida just ordered hers. Hello, Anne. You're live with Michael Buble. Oh, hello, Michael. I'm so excited. Oh. <laughs> 
hello, Ann. I, I saw you in concert. Um, yeah. Actually, I saw you on the Today Show. Oh, yeah. And the next day, I'm on Google looking up Michael Bublé, and you actually were in Jacksonville not long after that. Many in times I've been there. In a smaller Coliseum. Yep. And you came jumping over the stairs. You, you leapt over <laughs> rows of stairs up through the middle Jeez. of the concert hall. Probably. <laughs> and then I saw you at the other three that were at the big uh, Veterans Coliseum. Oh, yeah. You know what I remember, yeah. Ann? What's funny? You said the Today Show. I remember the first time I was ever on the Today Show, I was introduced by Maria Shriver. I was so nervous. And uh, I sang a song called That's All. Uh, you know That's All? Yeah. I uh -huh. can only give you love that lasts for it. And then yeah. in, the, in the middle of it, uh, I danced with Katie Kirk. Oh. And I remember yeah. thinking, like, I remember yeah. my parents calling me and going, like, what? <laughs> what is going to be like? Yeah. That's perfect. Great memories, Ann. Thank you so much for it, calling. It just, it just melts my heart because I grew up listening or my parents listening to those types of songs. Well, and what was and your when favorite? I hear them, they're both gone now. What and I oh, think I'm of sorry. you. What was your favorite uh, of those standards? What were their favorite standards? Uh, now, my mom was a big Bing Crosby oh. fan. So what song? And when she passed away, I actually put a CD in her casket with her. Oh. And, um, but my dad liked... Um, he, he did not like Frank Sinatra. I'm trying to remember who. He liked a lot of the orchestra and bands. Oh, Harry James and all the, the Glenn yeah, Miller and all yeah. of that. Yeah, me too. I like huh. it too. Well, Anne, I cannot wait for you to get the new, the new album. You're just going to absolutely, I know you're going to be thrilled. And everything you said, Anne, I think a lot of us can relate to it. It's, it's a beautiful thing that Michael keeps those gorgeous old songs alive in his, in his gifted way. I mean, that voice, Thank that you, gifted, beautiful voice and the way you interpret the songs. And that's what I love, is that although you are inspired by the yeah. greats of the past, I love how you do make it all, you make it your own. Well, you know, I think my, one of my favorite songs on the record is, uh, is a great song called, I mean, you'll all know it, it's called God Only Knows. And uh, oh. Brian Wilson, of course, uh, the, the Beach Boys, it was one of, maybe one of the greatest songs ever written. And um, I knew it was a dangerous song to tackle because, of course, it's so beloved. So I needed to make it mine, and I needed to be emotionally honest. So what I actually did was I got my piano player, and I set the mic up right next to him, and uh, I had the engineer shut all the lights off in the <gasps> studio, and I took my phone, and I took a picture of my two little boys, my babies, Aww. and I put it on the stand, and I sang the song. And, uh, and oh, so there was so no... Oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah, and there was n there's no, truly, there's no better way for for me to tell the truth than to to find inspiration with right. my, you know with my family with my kids with my oh. and i for me it's really really a very cool thing that when you get home and you put on your your earphones or you put it in your cd player or you put it in your car and you get to say a track like god only knows um i think that instinctually you will feel that you're honestly sitting right next to me because it's it's that it really, oh. there was no other way to make it that intimate. And for you right now, it's hard for you maybe to, to get it or to understand it, but when, uh, when Friday comes and you play this for the first time, you will truly uh, have a tangible understanding of exactly what I'm talking about. And uh, oh my I wish goodness. it would just come faster. I, I wish know, Friday would just I get here. I know it. Aren't you excited? It's, all, yeah, it's like so Christmas excited. morning, right? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, as an artist, you know, it's always probably the scariest or most... Uh, exciting, nerve-wracking, fulfilling <laughs> time because, you know, you've put so much love and so much heart into it. And, of course. And um, you just can't wait for the people to get it. Of course. Hey, by the way, um, I do. if you're just stopping by, if you're just tuning in, we have only a little more than 30 minutes left in our show. Um, hugely popular. Clearly almost 16,000 have now been spoken for. Thank you all so much for your calls. I'm excited.